Um, Henrik, quite a, a weird test out there, quite windy day, um, yeah, and a performance that was really good in the first half, maybe took your foot off the gap in the second. What did you feel about it today? Yeah, like they say, like, we had the wind uh, with us the first half, made everything a little bit easier, and then the second half we had it against us, and yeah, it was pretty hard to play, but I think we did pretty well. And a goal for you today? You must be pleased with A, the way you scored it, and B, to be on the score sheet. Yeah, I was a good feeling scoring goals, so yeah. What did you think to you when it, when it rolled back to you? Did you just think, I'm going for this? Yeah, of course. It's just, just played it up to Matty, made a good run, and then got it back. And just, like we said, we had a win with us the first half, and need to try. Um, in terms of New York City, what, what were they like as an opponent? They were good. Um, I think they were a little bit better than we thought it was going to be. But the game was a good game. So, yeah. And in terms of today's squad, quite a mix and match. Obviously, Lewis McLeod in the midfield from the first team. He had a few trials in there as well. Does that make it difficult kind of to, to find your rhythm in the early stages? Um, a little bit. The guys who were on trial have been training with them during the whole week. So, I think they're getting a little bit hold of it, how we play and how we press and everything and it's like you said having Lewis Wheeler from the first team was always good as well someone that will uh, give everyone a little bit more comfort on the pitch obviously now you've, you're coming back into the team playing more and more um, not only that but on the horizon you've got two cup finals to come first of all that must be uh, for the team give you massive confidence you're in two cup finals this yeah of course uh, like this is the first time ever for Brentford history I think being in two finals so yeah I think the whole Team is happy and confident that we're gonna do good in both finals. So, what's it been like in terms of the, the run to the final? Obviously, you've played some games in there. Is it, is um, it a tough, tough run all the way through? Yeah, of course it's tough. We we are not used to like the the uh, competing games as much in the B team. Mm -hmm. So I think um, just having these tougher games and it means a little bit more than just having friendly games and everything make everything more fun as well. And obviously, one of the finals is at Griffin Park. How much yeah. is it going to mean to the team to play in front of the, the home stadium? Uh, everyone in the B team reads for playing every week at the Griffin Park, so it's always fun to get out there, see, and have something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. well, at the moment, Thomas Frank is handing debuts out like the chips at a casino, just handing them yeah. out to everyone. That must give the p people in the B team a massive sense of confidence because obviously you're going into a system where you could be in the first team at any stage. Of course, I think everyone is just getting ready. Like when the chance is coming, I think everyone is gonna be ready for it. So yeah. And obviously for certain players, um, you know, you're looking ahead to, to the future as well and thinking about maybe new contracts, thinking about moving away from the club. In terms of your football, what's the, what's the aim for the end of the season? Trying to just push on as hard as you can. Yes, trying to get as many games as I can, show what I'm here to do, and yes, see what it leads to.